Till I rock the place where the sedge grows, I decide to go in to see what is a sedge. But before we do, let's see some of the lies that they have told us. Remember where we are? We are in the Sudan and we are heading for West Africa. We are going opposite to the east. We are going west. And therefore, we will never encounter that Red Sea. But watch what they have said here. But Phil I wrote, they said here, the third encampment of the Bantu, they're not Israel, they're Bantu, the Bantu, after they left Goshen in Egypt, and the last one before crossing the sea. You notice I did? I mark out red and left sea. Because we know that the word translating sea here is yam. And yam is talking about the Nile. Yam is talking about a river. Yam is talking about a falls on the river that is making a loud noise. We saw that in the previous show. So this is where they come in. Let me back up one so you can see what I'm talking about. So they come here. They come into the Sudan. And because they have to cross that Nile and come west, they're crossing Yam, the river. You see, the Red Sea is this side, but the children are coming west. The word yam, sea is yam. That's Strong's H 3220. Yam, 3220. Let's go inside and see. Use 396 times in the King James Version of the Bible. 321 times it says sea, just simply sea. And after then, it begins to say this. That sea that they're making reference to is west. That sea is west. And this is the thing about liars. They have to remember. That's why my mother said, don't tell lies because when you do, you have to remember all the lies that you have told to hide the one that you hide the one. Hide the lie, the lie, the lie. You have to keep hiding it. See, the west one, 47 times. Westward, 21 times. They're going to West Africa. West side, four times. See, west, west, west side. That's the frequency. Though they're going west. They are not going to the east. See, and when you come here to see the outline of biblical usage, you get to see Mediterranean Sea. That's not west. That's north. Then we write that off. Red Sea, that's east. Write that one off. Dead Sea, mm -mm, nowhere around here. Sea of Galilee, nowhere here. Sea, generally, okay, we can accept that. Mighty River Nile. See how low down, you see how low down they got it? The Mighty River Nile. So when they were coming, they came to Sukkot. They're now heading to the, the Nile on the west side, the mighty river Nile. That's where they're going. They're going westward, west, westward. That's where they're going. The word yam, which means sea. Don't let them carry away with it. It means from an unused root meaning the roar, the heavy sounding water, like the Titsi River in South Africa, when the water is falling, heavily like a, a waterfall, that sound, the roaring of that river as a breaking in noise, noisy sound. Suf, noise, large body of water. Don't tell us about the Mediterranean Sea. We're not going north. We are already heading south. Get it? Sometimes a large river. This is our case, the River Nile. That's what we're talking about here. 